Welcome back. This is Choice News Now, live at midday. I'm Janika Simon. And right now, I am joined by somebody that a lot of solutions know, whether in person or through social media. Soraya Alexander joins me on the line, and she is going to speak about a book that she wrote. And the title of that book is The Spiritual Guide to COVID-19. Soraya, how are you this afternoon? Hi, Janika. I am very well under the circumstances. How are you? I'm holding up. You know, it's, uh, I think, a difficult time for all of us, which is why I was so interested in um, the book. You messaged me. You told me that you wrote this. You sent it to me to read. And, um, you know, I thought it was, it was pretty interesting. That's why I invited you to talk about it. So yes. mm -hmm. just tell me, what was the motivation for this for you? Okay, um, the motivation behind the spiritual guide to COVID-19 came as a result of my faith and my strong belief in God because um, I look around and what I realize is that many people are very fearful and panicking and there is nothing wrong with that. We all are humans and we will feel frail and um, actually scared. So I decided, okay, Saraya, why not write something? Why not write this book that would at least give people a bird's eye view, not too complicated, simple language with pictures, give them a bird's eye view as to what is happening in the world and to give them that common scripture verses and guide them through because what you find is happening is like people are looking for answers and because of my faith and spirituality i turn to god so hence the reason i wrote this book it didn't take me very long because i was so inspired to do well that's certainly um actually pretty interesting i will tell you that yeah you you're right it's not a very long book um it didn't take me too uh, long to get through it Something that I noticed right away is that early on in the book, and I'm, I'm going to see if I can scroll to actually get the um, get the exact page, mm -hmm. is that you listed the fruits of the spirit. Yes. So I am not a super religious person, but <laughs> I, I did go to um, a Catholic high school. And so, okay. you know, you know, that hymn that we always, that we always sing. So it's a, it's, it's, it's in my mind right. and you made a point to list them out. Uh, yes. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, mm -hmm. and self-control. And why it jumped out to me, Soraya, is because I am juxtaposing this list of virtues mm -hmm. with the behavior, the commentary, mm -hmm. the opinions that have been expressed mm -hmm. um, in recent times since we've, we've started dealing with this issue. So right. I just was wondering if this was a deliberate choice on your end of content. Well, it, it, it was not it was maybe kind of deliberate and not deliberate because when you face the unknown and what is happening, you, you go blank, you go confused, you get confused. And you know, as a child growing up in church and everything, the fruit of the spirit always um, stayed in my heart because at this present time, if you realize in the book, I pointed out one. And I, one of the fruit of the spirit, which is very, very, very critical right now, is self-control. Because we, we, we all are feeling a bit uneasy with what is happening and people might have, you know, hot heads and people might feel angry and frustrated. But the fruit of the spirit, when you release them out and you read it, it's gonna just calm you down and say, I do not have control over this or other people's behavior, but let me calm down, let me exercise some self-control. And when you look at what's happening, we need love, we need joy, we need peace, we need patience, we need kindness, we need goodness, we need faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. With what's going on with the COVID-19, the coronavirus, if we as a people don't exercise that, I don't think um, 
it's going to be a good reflection of us. And, you know, I'm just encouraging everybody. If you could read the book, it's going to calm you down. Because there was this particular individual who read the book and sent me a WhatsApp and said that they were so afraid, they were so scared. Now, this person is a little bit ill, and knowing this virus is going around, this person was actually panicking. And when this individual read the book, you know, the, the individual said, I, I am so relieved. I'm not scared anymore. I feel safe. And let me tell you, there is power in the word of God to calm each and every one of us. Now, you said that this, this, this I thought was very interesting. You said that um, people who are reading the book are reporting to you that they feel calmer. They don't feel um, as panicked. And I know that uh, as we get down into the pages, you have actually chosen specific scripture verses, verses from the Bible that um, are designed, I guess I would say, to, you know, bring that sense of calm to faithful, yes. of, for people of faith. So tell me, I mean, the Bible is a very large tome. It's, it's got a lot of content in it. Mm -hmm. How did you go about de uh, deciding? which uh, pieces of scripture you're going to use. Yes, and as, as I said, Janika, I have all I have known of in all my life is, is going to church and leaning and reading the Bible. And, you know, my grandmother made sure I knew the Bible from head to toe. So going to get those verses will like second nature. And I know many, 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 many people are very anxious. And um, one of the verses um, in Deuteronomy 31, it says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Now, if you could just only just take those words, leave them with you, abide with them, stay calm. I believe that... Um, the individual reading the book would find some assurance because, you know, you know, I'm on social media, I'm reading and everything, and I, I believe there is a lot of fear. People are fearful that I get this and I don't survive. I have my family. How am I going to make it? So in the other scripture verse, Psalm 34, verse 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. These verses basically relate to my childhood growing up, you know, with God and learning His Word. So I, since I know that I have the assurance to stay calm, whatever may come, why not share it with, with you know, with everybody throughout the world so they can read and just be calm? Because you don't want to really just be bombarding people's head with religion and not. You want people to realize, hey, there are verses that can help you understand what's happening and just remain calm and focused. Soraya, I think that this is a fascinating case study in terms of what crisis situations can bring out of people. I understand yes. that this is your very first book, the, the, the very first um, attempt at, at writing and publishing um, a, a book. So, yes. and, and I noticed a very familiar name also credited as um, the graphic designer, somebody who put the graphics together. So tell me about that process of collaboration with a very close family member of yours. Okay. Okay. Well, it is my son, Akeem Ernie. Um, let me just give you a little bit about Akeem. Akeem, from, from a child, his father and I realized that he, he, he was very technical, very savvy, and then we just let him, you know, carry on doing what he, he's doing. And then when I did my book, you know, I am doing it, and I'm saying, oh God, I need a, a, a cover for this book. And before I know it, I'm hearing a sound in my in my WhatsApp. It is a team. He actually designed my cover page for me. A team really, really loves information technology and. Um, he is doing excellent. He's a student of the Castries Conference Secondary School from four. Um, he has done um, a number of, of YouTube videos. They have a channel, Tech Technocrat. So Akin is very involved. He, he, he's a child that's into technology. So it makes my work 
easier knowing I had him there because sometimes I have to call him, Akeem, come look at this for mommy. He's like, mommy, you don't know what to do. I'm like, so come help me. So Akeem is a very promising young man and I believe, you know, St. Lucia would be um, happy and, and, and he's an asset to St. Lucia and um, he is really, really helping me. And as, as, as a writer, this is my first book, you know, not the last, but having him there is really going to propel me to do bigger things. Well, Soraya, um, before we let you go, let me just uh, allow you to speak in your own words. Tell St. Lucians if they are interested in the book, where they can find it, and uh, how they can contact you if they want to chat about it. Okay, um, if you're interested in my book, it is on Amazon.com. The name of the book is The Spiritual Guide to COVID-19. And if you don't remember the name of the book, you can just put Soraya Alexander and you would find that information in the book and you, you can get a sample read as to what the book is about and if you need to contact me there is my email in the author's biography you can contact me and you know we can talk because at, at this juncture we all need to be here for each other and if that's my little way of contributing to the world globally I'm very happy Thank you so much for chatting with us today, Soraya. And please, um, I know we are in touch all the time. Let me know yeah. how. Let me know how that's going. Let me know how people are responding to you. And yeah. um, I think that this is a fantastic effort for um, people of faith who may be feeling a little fearful um, to get some comfort and some solace. So thank you very much for that, Soraya Alex. Thanks Dana. for having me, Janika. All thank right. you so much. Take care. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I saw, I saw that um, she had written that book and I, I just thought it was fascinating at just looking at the various aspects of creativity, the various aspects of people just wanting to make a contribution to help in the way that...